Hi, this is Riyan from Must Be Noob. In this lab guide, I'm going to take manual backup of Checkpoint Firewall R81 using Gaia OS Web Portal. Checkpoint Backup feature allows backing up the configuration of the Gaia OS and of the Security Management Server database or restoring a previously saved configuration. It allows to schedule backup for daily, weekly, and yearly. The configuration is saved to a .tzz format in the slash var slash log slash cp backup slash backups directory of the firewall. Backup can be stored locally or remotely on a TFTP server, SCP server or FTP server. To create a backup using Gaia portal, first you need to access the Gaia OS web interface. And for that, I'm going to double click on Microsoft Edge web browser. Type URL HTTPS colon double slash IP address of security gateway. In my case, it is going to be HTTPS colon double slash 10.2.21.1. Press enter key. At a login screen, tap the username and password which you have set up during the Gaia OS installation process. The username is admin and let's specify the password and click on login. I'm going to click on Never. On Gaia OS Web Interface, in the Trio View, click on Maintenance. Under Maintenance, you will find option for Backup. Let's click on System Backup. You can see the list is empty. Till now, I haven't created any backup of this security gateway. To create a new backup, we need to click on a Backup. Let's click on it. For this new backup, select the location of the backup file. This appliance is going to save backup file locally on the Gaia OS. Management will store the backup on connected management server and specify the IP address, username and password of SCP server, FTP server or TFTP server. In this lab guide, I'll save backup file locally and that's why we're going with this appliance option. Now I'm going to click on backup to start the backup process. Step 1, it is initializing. Step 2, collecting information. The backup has finished successfully. Backup has finished in 10 seconds and backup type is local and backup file is save under slash var slash log slash cp backup slash backups and this is the name of that backup file. Click on OK. Here we have information about the backup location. This is the default one slash var slash log slash cp backups slash backups. And this is the backup file which we have created just right now. If you want to view logs about this backup file then select the backup and click on view logs. And here we can see the backup has completed on this timestamp. Type is local and the status is success. You can also click on view last backups to get the more information. The backup type is local latest. Yes, this is a timestamp and this is the location where the backup file is stored. The recent backup file is stored on a Gaia OS itself. And that's why I want to export locally save file to this Windows 10 computer. And for that, I'm going to select the backup file and then after, I'm going to click on export. Click on OK. Are you sure you want to continue? Click OK. OK, the file has been downloaded successfully. Let's see that. Let's click on show in folder and this is the backup file. Okay. Uh, let me minimize it. I'm going to close this download tab and I'm going to select the latest backup and I want to delete it. Okay. Now we want to see how we can import configuration file to firewall using import tab. And then after we want to restore the previous configuration to that firewall. So already I have deleted that previous backup file. Now I want to import it again. 
and for that we need to click on uh, here we can see the message unable to connect to the server click ok to reconnect uh, the session has expired so let me again uh, log into this Gaia OS web portal configuration is locked so let me unlock it click yes okay let's again click on maintenance and then after i'm going to click on system backup so to import the configuration we need to click on import let's click on browse to select the location earlier we have downloaded the backup file under the downloads directory let's select the file click open sorry click on open okay and then after we need to click on import that will start the process of uploading the backup file to our Gaia OS. Okay, now we can see the local backup file and this is the size. Now to restore this backup file, we simply need to click on this restore button. Let's click on it. Click OK to proceed. And once the restoration process completes, the firewall will reboot with the new configuration. Here we can see the message, please wait while system is rebooting. Okay, after reboot, let's again sign in to our Gaia OS. Let's click on login. Now next, let's see how we can schedule a backup using Gaia OS web portal. Let's again click on maintenance and click on system backup. Okay, to schedule a backup, we need to click on add schedule backup. Enter a backup name. I'm giving name daily backup GW. And we have an option to select the backup type. And this is going to be this appliance. You want to store the backup locally. And then you have an option to select the backup schedule. I want to go with a daily. And then after you can specify the time when you want to take a backup of it. Here, I'm going to specify the time. 7 o'clock in the morning. Let's click on add. If you want, you can also add another backup schedule as well by clicking over here and then specify the same detail again. So this is how you can perform backup, restore, import, export on Checkpoint Firewall R81 using Gaia OS Web Portal. In this lab guide, you have learned the steps to perform backup restoration of Checkpoint R81 using Gaia OS Web Interface Thank you for watching. See you all in the next lab guide.